uh, so I just got home from work and I let the dogs out and now I can't find magic and you know why? Right? I'm gonna show you why because it's after 5 p.m. and you know Finn's here he's happy to pay attention to me and hang out but where a certain other dog is he says hey it's time, buddy. And I want one thing. That bowl filled with food. Right? You want food from this bin. Again, this is our simple human. Me too. Fit doesn't go as crazy for food. That's magic. But he needs it. I want to get magic some more. So they get six cups a day, roughly. And that's it. In the morning, they will not go outside, particularly Magic, to go to the bathroom in the morning when you get up. He sits and he waits to be fed, and then he'll go out. He's very food motivated, and he weighs maybe 150 pounds. Not overweight, but we do have to watch it. Heidi will feed him breakfast, and I'll feed him, and vice versa, so they're getting some double meals. That's, uh, that's what feeding time looks like. two Great Danes, Finn on the left, Magic on the right. Finn is about nine months and one week old. Magic will be four in October and they get along but Finn just constantly wants to play with Magic and Magic is kind of tired of it so we generally keep them on separate beds or in this case we see if we can get them to learn how to just lay together without irritating each other too much. That is what these guys are doing. Magic weighs about 150 pounds, and I guess Finn is probably approaching 130. Now, Finn, you were doing so good. Finn is Magic's sister's puppy, so he is his uncle, but Finn is kind of trending to be bigger than Magic when you look at the size of his paws. But I love these moments where they're kind of getting along and not wrestling or irritating, but then Finn just can't help himself and it progresses. Package. We're continuing our search for things that Finn can play with that are indestructible. So say hello to the indestructible toy. So this is from Outward Hound. Uh, not sponsored by them or anything, but we will give this a test. Fire Hose Tough. Modeled by Heidi. Let's see it, Heidi. What do you think, Finn? Guess who's gonna give it a test? A run for its money, so to speak. Okay, it's been five minutes. Finn, how did it go in five minutes? Let me see. Let me see in five minutes. He's already got this leg. Well, when you got molars going like that, there's no chance. And we have our first piece of leg has come off. Progress update. One leg destroyed, second leg severed, third leg abrasions, fourth leg healthy. Overall, pretty good. One notch out of the tail. This is what we go for in the morning. Each dog on their bed, behaving nicely. Mostly so Finn doesn't pick on magic. Good boy, lie down. Good boy. Down. That's a boy. 
Good boy, lie down. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, lie down. You're such a good looking boy. Yeah. Finn, do you have something? No. Do you have something else to say? Do you want to get up again? Finn, okay. 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 Hi, everybody. I just wanted to tell you that I did get a word back from that bed, rough and tough. Uh, in an email, they said that they normally don't do uh, a warranty on something that's caused by animal damage, which clearly was the case uh, where Finn chewed the zipper and shredded that bed. But they went ahead and said they were going to go ahead and um, replace it. So that's on its way to us. Thank you uh, to that company. I'll put their link in the description below. Um, the material, which was Cordura, is certainly uh, tough enough to stand up to a Great Dane, but that zipper just couldn't take it. So I think a Velcro solution or something would be great. Uh, so that's the update on the indestructible bed. So hope you like what you're seeing. If you do, give it a like and subscribe. Uh, this is now our 28th video about Finn and Magic. And it all started from Finn's little trip home from the airport. And that thing kind of went to 170,000 views. And I thought, well, I think people like Great Danes. So keep watching. Have a great day.